overflows. Consciousness, the core of human existence. Consciousness is the core of human existence. Buddha taught his monks to be mindful of his small things as the methodology to attain to crystallization of consciousness. Buddha taught his monks to be mindful of his small things as the methodology to attain to crystallization of consciousness. When you are mindful of small things, you grow in consciousness moment to moment with each circumstance and situation. As you grow in consciousness, the moments of unconsciousness begins to get less and less. And then one day, the season of spring comes and consciousness blossoms. In the beginning, the thoughts remain floating on the inner sky. When consciousness is without thinking, it is awareness. We are trained for doing. Doing brings and strengthens ego. Ego is the shadow of action. And being strengthens consciousness. Your being strengthens consciousness. Then there is only one thing that is not doing and the awareness is watchfulness is the only thing that is not part of the world of actions is pure awareness everything is part of the world of actions no shadow is created by pure awareness everything else creates a shadow no shadow is created by pure awareness it is so pure that even light can pass through it. It is transparent and no shadow is created. Consciousness without thinking is awareness. Being alert with no thought is benediction. Sometimes in certain strange moments, you experience this but when it begins to happen to you consciously you are aware that there is no thoughts floating in the inner sky that is a moment of benediction at times you experience this and that is the time when the master explains to you that at this moment you have experienced this and then once you know you have this state has been explained then it begins to happen to you on your own try this being alert and with no thoughts is benediction. Even if this state comes for a few moments, it transforms. Try it. Whenever you see thinking gathering in you, disperse it immediately and be mindful. Pull yourself out of it. Look at the tree without the screens of thinking between you and tree. Normally there are screens on which thoughts appear. Anytime when something is going to happen, there comes a blank screen and you start writing. You want to mention it to the sheikh or the master, 
that this is what I was experiencing. That time what is important, pull yourself out of it, look at the tree without the screens of thinking between you and the tree or between you and that thought or you and that object. Listen to the chirping of the birds with no chirping of the mind inside. Look at the sun rising and feel that inside you as the sun of consciousness is rising. But do not think about it or assert or state or say or rush to ex mention it to someone. Simply be and by and by you will start feeling glimpses of awareness as if a fresh breeze has entered into your room which was getting stale and dead or as if a ray of light has entered into the dark night of your soul or as if suddenly life has called you back. The deeper your watchfulness becomes in the same proportion your awareness deepens and then gaps and intervals starts arising. One thought comes and then has disappeared but the next thought has not come as yet. There is a gap. One cloud has passed and before another comes in Again there is a gap. In those gaps for the first time you will have the glimpse or the taste of no mind. You can call it taste of Zen or Tao or Yoga. Names do not matter. In those small intervals suddenly the sky is clear the sun is shining. Suddenly the world is full of mystery because all barriers have dropped. The screen on your eyes is no more. You see clearly and penetratingly then whole existence becomes transparent for you. Remember the innermost core or innerness or flowering of the being is witnessing, awareness, watchfulness. You can call it anything, but it will be another meaning of witnessing. Truth alone is pure awareness. And when truth begins to blossom through you, and when truth begins to blossom through you, know this as flowering of consciousness. Season of spring has come. As consciousness flowers, you are more and more aware, even aware of small things happening both within and without. Just by being aware, Thoughts start disappearing. There is no need to fight. Your awareness is enough to destroy them. And when the mind is empty, the temple is ready. And inside the temple, the only God worth placing is silence. A dancing, a singing, an overflowing silence. So those three words you have to remember, relaxation, thoughtlessness and silence. That's why in meditation, first thing that happens to you is relaxation. In the moment of relaxation, thoughtlessness comes followed by silence. 
that's why master gives sometimes certain techniques so that the energy that has been disturbing you is released the moment that energy is released you are relaxed and in that a state of relaxation at times you will experience thoughtlessness followed by silence and if these three words are no more words to you instead become experience your life will be transformed your life will be transformed through the practice of mindfulness one can attain to awareness however only very few people are born with awareness those are the people who die full of awareness those are the people who die full of awareness if death was conscious then birth will be conscious as well because death is the is the one side and birth is another side of the same coin this is why my so much emphasis is on being awake and alert when you are aware through life's roots then you are aware in the final moments of death as well a conscious death brings conscious birth as well instead it is benediction to be born conscious and die as well awareness is the greatest alchemy possible just go on becoming more and more alert and you will find your life starts changing for the better in every possible dimension it will bring great fulfillment to you for awareness you need not renounce the world and go to the monasteries or mountains or anywhere else your life gives you enough opportunities to be aware each moment each circumstance and situation that comes it can make you aware or unaware someone insults you listen to it with full awareness and you will be surprised the insult is no more an insult you may even smile somebody praises and appreciates you again listen with alertness and then nobody can pursue you to do foolish things nobody can bribe you or oh, and flattery to becomes impossible you will smile at the whole nonsense of it listen watch and be aware and by and by a different quality of being arises in you which is neither of the body nor of the feeling nor of the thoughts a different flame starts gathering within you and you become more and more crystallized as this awareness becomes crystallized for the first time you will be you will feel more and more that you are this feeling this is the feeling of being and then moods will become more and more irrelevant they will come and go but you will remain unperturbed enough for now